Hi everyone, Harris here with the iDownload blog and today we have a rapid fire video. Everything you need to know about multi-touch gestures and controls on the trackpad for your iPad. Whether you're using the Magic Keyboard or some other trackpad, here's what you need to know. And this video is presented by Paperlike 2 Screen Protector. I finally got mine in the mail and we'll be installing it today. Super excited about that link in description for the best Apple Pencil writing experience for your iPad. So we're gonna start off with one, two, and then three finger gestures. So one finger gesture is very simple, dragging it around just like you would a normal trackpad and it will move the cursor around with it. Now you can also activate in your settings under general and trackpad and mouse, tap to click. And if you have this turned on, you will not need to actually physically click the button on the trackpad. You can just tap to get into an application. Now secondly, you have the two finger secondary click, which you can also turn on. And when you have this turned on, when you do a two finger tap, it'll pull up the secondary menu and this will give you your alternate controls. So if you're selecting text, it'll give you text controls and app, it'll give you app controls. Secondly, with two fingers, you can swipe left or right. So on your home screen, this will take you to the next page or in a document or multitasking, it'll just slide left to right. Now you can do the same thing with vertical scrolling with two fingers, scroll up, scroll down. Now also with two fingers, you can pinch in and out to zoom and you can do this on photos and Safari and really any application that supports the regular pinch to zoom. You can now do with this trackpad. So something like Photoshop is going to be great for pinch and zoom. Next, a three finger swipe up will take you to your home screen, very simply. If you do the same action but hold it at the top, it'll take you into multitasking. Or if it's just a shorter stroke, just takes you right to your multitasking. So you can go home if you swipe all the way, or you can go into multitasking by just going up partially. Now you can also swipe between recent applications with a three finger gesture. So right to left will take you to recent applications, very simply. So if we're on the home screen and I swipe to the right, it'll take me back to Safari and three fingers to close or go into multitasking. Now another cool gesture. So if you're in an application, you can swipe down to the bottom to pull up your dock, but you can also keep swiping or kind of swipe again to take you right home. So another gesture to take you home is just to swipe all the way through the bottom of the screen. Now you can also get the slide over multitasking by doing the same thing with one finger just sliding to the right side of the screen with a little bit of force and it'll pull up your slide over multitasking and then you can do the same thing to get it away. You can also go to the top of your screen to get notification center and swipe to the left to pull over your today hub and then to the right corner to get into control center. So you can get into your dock or home screen by going down, the slide over by going to the right, your notification center by going to the top and your control center by going to the top right. Now quickly a message from the sponsor, Paperlike is the best screen protector for your iPad. It takes away the glare and it takes away the fingerprints and adds a great texture for your iPad if you're using the Apple Pencil. It feels like you are writing on paper and it's phenomenal to take away the slippery glass feeling of your iPad's display while also reducing fingerprints. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out Paperlike 2 for yourself. Definitely recommended. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out idownloadblog.com for more tutorials, and we'll see you in the next video.